it's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Good morning. Can you tell I am ever so slightly nervous, but it's going to be fine. I am currently in Salem, Oregon right now, and I'm getting ready to take my state certification exam to officially become a CNA. Yeah, the day is here. Cheers to that. I arrived mega early, which I'm really happy about. It's 7.18 right now. My test, I have to be in the room. I have to register by 8.10. I'm like almost an hour earlier, but... The hospital's under construction right now, so everything is just really confusing. I have no idea where I am, so we're just gonna get here early. It's just smart in nursing to always be early. I got myself a little breakfast, so I'm going to eat my yogurt. Maybe I'll do like a little cutie as well. We have the pumpkin Elenos. Absolutely delicious, obviously. Very curious to see how this goes, and I'm excited to document this in case any of you guys are also thinking about going through the same thing, like maybe Maybe it'll help you out. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos actually are either nurses or were CNAs or are CNAs, which is really cool. Thank you guys for all the encouragement. First thing in the morning is I have my knowledge test and then afterwards I have my skills test. I was talking to my friend Kenna and she was telling me how she actually had to wait three hours till she took her skills test because of the way like the testing sign up works. Whoever finishes their knowledge test first then gets to sign up for a spot for the skills test. So I have no idea how long I'll be here for. To be honest, I'm kind of excited to do it that way just because because I like having a little break in between and then I can review and stuff. I honestly feel like I'm less nervous for the knowledge test just because, I don't know, I like, I trust myself, I trust my training. So we have my little note sheets. I'm just gonna have my breakfast in here and review um, the 55 chapters that I took notes on. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I condensed it like really well. I literally hate eating in the morning, but I know I'll be happier when I do. Comment down below if you guys cannot eat really early in the morning because uh, this happens to a lot of my friends too. I just get so nauseous in the morning. I can barely even look at this. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off, force myself to eat this. It's gonna be good. Right, I'm as ready as I'll be. I really, really gotta pee. It's probably nervous pee, but I might as well get in there, try to find the bathroom, then try to find the room. We're gonna do it. I have my directions. Let's do this, do this. Get her done. Open up my soul, but babe, how could I know? in 28 minutes. Hopefully I passed. It went pretty well, nothing like too crazy. So now I wait till 11.30 to do skills. I guess you fooled me once, but I ain't falling twice. All lies, oh Lord. I ain't gonna run. My rise has just begun. I'll shine. Guys, I am done studying for now. I think one of the best pieces of advice that I've ever received was from my chem teacher freshman year and she was like, do not overstudy and freak yourself out. So I don't know it by now, I don't know it and I'm not gonna overdo it. I read through the instructions, which is great because I was a little bit nervous that they aren't gonna like go through and explain where things are because I've never seen a testing room. So it's a little bit confusing, but they said that they are going to do that in the instructions, which is great. Comment down below, like which skill you think I'm gonna get if you know like the CNA things, which one of the four skills because I'm really curious there's like one mandatory skill out of the four I'm curious which one I'm gonna get so comment down below put your guesses in catheter care peri care of a male with brief change bedpan emptying a urinary drainage bag we'll see what I get I kind of hope I get the urinary drainage bag or 
the bedpan. Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. <sighs> That did not go well. It's so frustrating, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm not gonna cry because like it is what it is. There's nothing you can do to change it, but um, that was definitely a learning experience. I got urinary drainage bag, which was great. as like my number one skill. I kind of wanted that skill, but I messed up. I forgot to check initially if the urinary bag was draining properly, like if there was any kinks. Now at the very end of all three of my skills, she said if I wanted to go back and do anything differently. I immediately said, yes, I do. Can I like repost? Put the urinary drainage bag up and because I didn't properly check to see if it was draining and so she said I could do it I don't know it's hard because like you don't really know the rules so I I'm assuming that that like me re-performing that skill was gonna allow me to have it like checked off but I'm just really not sure oh my god I wasn't even that nervous but it's just very disorienting to be in like such a different space and everything's different and the rules are different so I got that as one of my skills, and then I got a bed bath as one of my skills, and then I got fluid intake. And in terms of like difficulty of skills, like I got good ones, and that's why I'm kind of frustrated, I guess a little bit at myself, because I'm like, why didn't I perform like the easy ones very well? I don't even know if I got like the fluid intake correct, because I haven't done that in a really long time. And usually I'm like generally pretty spot on, but the requirements for the book are like pretty exact when you're giving that fluid intake. So, I don't know. I don't think I passed. I'm not even gonna be surprised if I don't pass, which is such a bummer because I really wanted to be done with this and now I have to like come back and do this again. I don't know. It was a learning experience and that's just, it is what it is. Like no one is perfect. It doesn't mean like I'm gonna be a bad nurse or a bad CNA. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I guess I found out tomorrow at 5 p.m. So stay tuned. Okay, well, it's been real. Thank you guys for the support and the good luck well wishes. I don't wanna be like discouraging or anything because that's usually not who I am. And and a part of my fear of sharing my story on the internet is literally this, like failure and being watched and judged by so many people. So please be nice and be kind in the comments. Like we all have our moments. I do think the knowledge test went really well, so that's good, but it just, it is what it is. We're human, we're not perfect. We're trying our best out here. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do my microbio homework and try to, <laughs> pull the rest of my life together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it was kind of a sad ending, but I promise I'll be back and I'll be happier and I'll bounce back from this. It's not the end of the world. My teachers even told us that her best students will fail the skills test over like a simple thing. And it is so true. Now, I didn't go in there cocky at all. I knew that this was very likely going to happen. Looking back though, I should have slowed down because I finished really quickly. Future Kiara who's watching this, slow down okay slow down i love you guys and i will talk to you very soon comment something nice down below anything i need joy